Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and all who are listening to me. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, I'm so glad that we managed to meet again today. Um, my devotion today uh, is going to come from the book uh, of Romans chapter 8. Um, I shall read verse 28, which says, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him. We have been called according to his purpose. For those God who knew, he also predestined to be conformed to the imagine, uh, to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among his many brothers and sisters. And those who he predestined, he also called those he called. He also justified those who, who he justified. He also glorified. Then we go to verse 31, where it says, So then what shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his son, but gave him up for us, how will he not also along with him, graciously give us all things. Who will bring any charge against those whom God has uh, chosen? It is God who justifies. Who then is the one who condemns? No one, Christ Jesus, who died more than that, who was raised to life, is at the right hand of God and also is also in uh, interceding for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble, shall hardship, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or danger of sword, as it is written, for your sake we face death or day. Along, um, we are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the presence nor the future, nor the powers or any powers, neither height or depth or anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. I'm very uh, gracious today to share with you uh, this scripture that we have read about the love of Christ. If we read from the uh, uh, first chapters of um, Romans, we see Paul is talking about sin, law, sin, law, and all the stuff. Like he's telling the the Romans, the Roman church, that they need to live a godly life. They need to uh, stay away from evil things. They need to uh, do, to be righteous. They need to be justified by Christ. They need to. Uh, to check on their ways, in their way of living. They need also to change. And also here, all of a sudden, Paul just changed and started to give a message of hope, a message that strengthened them. And he started to say, in all these things, those who are Christians, those who are in the world, we have to know that Christ loves us. God loves us. And nothing can take us, take away, and uh, nothing can hinder us from the love of God. That means you and me, we might be in trouble, we might be facing um, crisis, maybe. Now, nowadays, I understand most of the people uh, who are listening now, they are in quarantine, they are in lockdown, and a lot of people. They're asking too many questions to God. Is, are you there? Are you living? What's 
once you respond. But I want to tell you that uh, today, Jesus Christ is listening. Jesus Christ loves everyone. And if, as we read uh, from verse, uh, verse, verse 28, it says, we have to know that all things uh, works good for those who love him. And Jesus Christ, being the firstborn of all who are called by the name of God, is the firstborn. So we are in the, in, the, in, the, in the family of God, so we should not worry. We should be very proud of ourselves uh, that we have someone who intercede for us. He's saying, I am there for you. What you just have to do is to know that I love you. Sometimes we as human beings, our love is hindered. Our love is sometimes abstracted by uh, situations, by problems. You end up not loving your, your friend because of the situation. You end up not even loving your family because things are hard. But Jesus Christ is saying, my love and the love that I have for you as humans, as the people of God, as the children of God, as the Christian community, there's nothing that can separate me from loving you. He's talking about um, things like uh, trouble, hardship. He's talking about persecution. He's talking about drought and famine. He's talking about nakedness. Lacking. We might be lacking something in these days. But Christ is saying, I love you. I still love you. And I'm still there for you, even though we are facing all those things. We, are, we just have to bear in mind that I as Christ, I as God, I have love for you. So we should not be worried a lot about uh, what the world is saying, but we should have this conscience that Christ has come here on earth and is giving his life for, for us to be forgiven, for us uh, to be pure. So what I pray uh, today with you guys is just think on your own. Anything that can hinder you from the love of God. Anything that can separate you from understanding that Christ loves you. Be it demons, be it angels. It says even neither angels, they cannot separate. Because we have the bond. If we are called by the name of Jesus Christ, if we are Christians, we, are, we have the bond. Even, even demons, even angels, they cannot separate us. Even the presence, things that are affecting us nowadays, things that are happening in your life as your family, things are, that are happening uh, in your life as an individual, all those present things, all those present uh, problems, all those uh, present situations, they can not separate you from uh, the love of Christ. So what we have to bear in mind is Christ is always there for me. Is Christ is always saying something uh, in, into my life. He's, he always talks about, he also talks about even any power, even uh, any heights, even any depth, even anything on this creation cannot take away the love of God that he has given for us. So be it we are in lockdown, be it we are in quarantine. That cannot separate us from the love of God. So as we pray as Christians, we just need to, to only to, to convince ourselves and to, uh, to remind ourselves that God loves us. And I know we, we, we might spend most of our time praying, asking for God to, to heal us and do all this stuff. But why don't we concentrate on his love? Thank you, Lord, you love us. Thank you, Jesus Christ, you are there for us, even in this time. So I'm just reminding you guys that uh, we have to know that God is saying to, 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 to you, that everything that is happening right now is happening for the good of those who loved God. And there is a purpose. And also we have to, to know that um, God has predestined us so that we can be justified through Jesus Christ. And he has given us this gift of love. 
has given us Jesus Christ. And if you th just think like uh, there, is, there is something that can separate me from Jesus Christ, even my enemies, even those who say bad about me, they cannot separate you from, uh, Jesus, uh, from the love of God. Because it says, if God is for you, so who can be against you? Which means that you, you, you have more supporters than enemies. Those who are supporting you, those who are on your side as a Christian, those who are on your side, they are more than your enemies. So we have to take that uh, confidence in ourselves as we go into prayer, as we go into Bible study, as we go into our Christian life, that even whatever I'm doing as a, as a human being, God is with me. So I just encourage you, uh, brothers and sisters, that uh, no one who is going to bring charge against you and that charge cannot even separate you from uh, the, the, the love of Jesus Christ. Because Christ is also died for our sins and also um, he was raised to life so that whatever is hindering us, whatever is separating us from, from the love of God can be taken away, can, can be buried so that new things may, be, uh, may be, uh, come up and everything that seems like is dead in your life will resurrect. That's the kind of love that Jesus Christ is, is talking to you today, that I love you, I care for you. So I leave you this scripture that uh, we, we, we have to we have, uh, bear in mind that Jesus Christ is there for us. Jesus Christ cares for us. Amen. Stay blessed.